Hi, it's John. It's the 14th of December 2014 and we've had some hard frosts and some cold weather. I mean, we had a, quite a, a warm October, damp, or, uh, damp November and a cold um, December, I think, something like that anyway. Anyway, here's, uh, it's a bit of an allotment update. Now this is some Swiss chard here that uh, I've been in for quite a while and it's some of it self-seeded again and I've just picked a whole load. Um, in the foreground there's strawberries here, all needs tidying up, everything needs tidying up, never mind. Now over here, look at this dock, um, that dock there, all dead and growing at the bottom. I mean look at all those seeds, blimey, they're going to be all over the place those dock leaf seeds, never mind. And there's more dock leaves here, they all have seeds in. Um, so uh, they'll have them all over the place. Well, hopefully they'll sort of grow in the ground and shit. Now this is um, the old mole plant, the caper spurge. Uh, it does, it's a biannual, so it's done two years and now it's died. Uh, but it has set some seeds. Um, and there's some plants about here. There's one. Uh, so that one will flower this time. So these are supposed to keep moles away and there's one or two others. Now I've been doing a little bit of work, wonder wonder, uh, digging up some artichokes. What I do, I put the artichokes along the edge to, as a bit of a windbreak. And so I've been digging them up along here and then as I put them back I put the stalks in and I've also found some foxglove plants which I've potted up and there's a little spinach spinach plant that I came across and uh, more foxgloves and there's a little caper spurge which I've transplanted and I put the dead stalks of the juice of the artichokes back in the ground as a windbreak and these bottles help to deter the moulds, the little tap tap. Now what we're going to be basically doing is um, digging up some potatoes when Helen gets back. She's just gone on a little errand. So we're getting on digging the potatoes now. Dug one little row up over there. That's it, Helen's doing all the hard work. Oh yes. <laughs> There's a leak here. A leak? It's a very small leak, isn't it? <laughs> it is. You think it's going to come to something, I don't. See, there's a little row here. Can you just point to this little row, Helen, here? Oh, yes. Potato. You can see from the white hang on, Hang on, just to point and then stay, and then I'll zoom in. Point. Stay. That's it. There. there there's a row there, and then it comes along. There, those white bits. So I thought we'd better dig these odd ones up before we couldn't see where they were. Now, my reasoning is that these are late potatoes, and of course they'll keep longer, so they won't shit. And um, yep. here they are. Lovely. And they don't look too slugged or anything, do they? And that one doesn't. Oh. Did you look at this stone then, Helen? Aha, you did look at it then. It's got a little... Well, that's a happy face that way, isn't it? I saw it as an unhappy face. Ah, there. Oh, yes. Turn it up that way. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of cartoon bird. It's an unhappy, unhappy face. Mm. It's the ground talking to us. Oh, here comes the helicopter. Helicopter coming into land. Anyway, back to the potatoes. What a good job you're doing, Ellen. <laughs> left, it, left me to it while you've been um, helicopter chasing. Chasing. <laughs> Thank you. Nice potatoes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. As I was saying, if you have late potatoes, they um, they keep longer. You know, they'll keep right through the summer. And the, then these were planted very late as well, so it's all good. Right through the summer? Oh no, I've 
gone straight through one. I thought you would. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Should I do that? No, no, wash them when we get them home, I think. Just try and put them in the bag. So we haven't done bad. Uh, there's been about um, about a good five pounds of potatoes from those odd bits of rows, which were just, as I say, just making up, making up. There's some here, look. And then we've got some to dig up over there, but they're mammoth. They're huge, huge. What you got there then, Ellen? Wow. Looks a bit like Pinky. <laughs> pinky and Perky sort of thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! Oh my word, that's a big potato. It is. It is. That's as big as, nearly as, I mean my grandfather used to say, Oh, we had potatoes as big as your head. Without the hat. Mm. It's in the sort of volume, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, as I say, them other potatoes, they'd got rather ooge. Mm. And some of them would be. They won't be any good. They'd be hollow inside. You might get some bits off the chips. Mm. But uh, they have got a bit hooge. That's the hugest one. That's the hugest of the huge so far. Ah well, that's it for the time being. Helen likes to fetch some stuff for the rabbits when she comes out here. Chicken meat and stuff like that. That's what she's doing now, looking for bits of, bits of stuff for the rabbits. So it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from her.